So joining me is our producer Raj, who's also the president of India Sports Club. Now, Raj, in our previous episodes, we've seen highlights of the cricket tournament organised by India Sports Club, but that's not the only tournament that uh, India Sports Club run, is it? Well, uh, always uh, you say that uh, Aussie Indian, we are cricket tragics. Uh, yep. So uh, yes, we did in fact start India Sports Club ten years back, and we were playing only cricket, yep. as any Indian club would do. But uh, because it is a seasonal sports in Australia, because cricket is played, say, between September and uh, March, April of uh, the following year. Yep. Uh, during the non-seasonal, that is, when cricket is not being played, we introduce badminton and table tennis as sports which uh, our uh, members can enjoy. And uh, I can tell you the standard of badminton as well as table tennis attracted uh, people who have represented uh, their country, respective countries, before they came to Australia. Oh, wow. Like uh, some of the Indian players in badminton and so also in table tennis. Mm -hmm. And also in future, we are going to introduce soccer and also possibly AFL and rugby into okay. India Sports Club. Oh, wonderful. So, let's, how about we take a look at uh, some of the highlights of uh, the badminton tournament that we organized at the Sydney Olympic Park. Okay. Yeah, this is a tournament which is regularly organized by India Sports Club. So this is a tournament for 2013. So we are holding all the badminton events here, which is uh, men's singles, doubles, mixed doubles and ladies singles and doubles. And we got really good, uh, you can see around, around here, we got really good participation and uh, uh, we have a very active Indian crowd, which takes interest in uh, playing on these, um, these uh, tournaments. Back when I arrived here, probably about 15 years back, Badminton wasn't as popular a game, mostly rugby and cricket were the games. But today if you actually go, uh, especially on the weekends, most of the schools, school halls are being used by Indian community, a bit more by Chinese as well, but uh, generally Indian community very active now. And especially with the growth of this community, it has, uh, th this, this game has really taken off. And I'm looking forward to seeing an Indian play for Australia in the international competitions. Brilliant. Uh, we got around 60 people here today playing. So, yep, I'm pretty happy with the turnout. And hopefully we'll get more next time. That's the thing, because we have a lot of satellite clubs in Sydney who play on and off on a very regular basis. And uh, probably we are missing few here. And uh, if we continue, next time we'll get more people on board. So this is still on a very experimental stage. And if we, the response we have got today, next year we'll have much more effort and definitely more people to come. And it's, it's India Sports Club, but everybody is welcome. This is not especially only for Indian community, for sure. As, as we all know, Asians are the best in badminton, uh, but still we, 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 are, we want to give our best and we just want to give a try. And we want to see how it goes. I'm sure a lot of girls in Sydney, in Australia, are getting inspired by her. All, all the girls from the Indian subcontinent. So I'm sure there'll be a lot of more entries next time. That's right. Um, for the past uh, four years or so, I think uh, Indian Sports Club has been organizing these tournaments. They have cricket, table tennis, badminton. And um, this is one of the events, annual events they have. It's been always run successfully and very well organized. Well, um, I'm actually from Sri Lanka. I uh, started playing badminton when I was about eight years old. Uh, my father was a bit, uh, badminton player, so he's the one who actually got me into badminton. Um, and I quite uh, like the sport as well, so I started playing for the school. Um, played from my under-12 team to the under-19 team, captained my school team. Um, played for the junior national team in Sri Lanka as well. And that's when I actually stopped. Um, because of my studies. So I started uh, to pick it up again when I got to uh, Sydney. I didn't play a lot. I, I initially came to Melbourne uh, in 2002. Um, didn't play a lot there. Uh, there were no clubs like Crestwood uh, in, in Melbourne that I knew of. Um, so I didn't, didn't get to play much there. So after coming to Sydney, I started playing again. Um, Played at the university clubs, UNSW, uh, UTS, and then um, also at Crestwood. Sports. That's right. It's mostly placed by um, Asians and Indians. Not a lot of Australians actually play badminton. There are still a few players, but not a lot. Um, and I think their level has improved as well over the last five years. I've only been here five years, so I can basically say that their level has improved over the last five years. 
and more youngsters playing and they keep continuing, which is the important thing. Uh, we could encourage more people to take part by making it a bit more popular by, you know, doing something like this. Oh, well, uh, I came to this country eight years back and um, uh, there was a club uh, which was uh, uh, Crestwood Badminton Club. Um, I ended up uh, there through some connections of my friends and uh, started playing. I used to weigh a lot and somebody suggested that you can lose some weight if you go there and play badminton. And then that's how I picked up my um, badminton and kept on playing, playing and uh, eventually somebody suggested that you can play some tournaments and when I started playing tournaments, uh, uh, thanks to um, uh, my club, Crestwood Badminton Club, which provided a great partner in uh, a single champion, Pubudu, which uh, you have been speaking to and uh, that's uh, been a great journey. <laughs> Uh, with him to win the tournament uh, first time and um, basically badminton has been my passion so I have supported um, Crestwood Badminton Club uh, predominantly and I uh, have stuck with them and I'll continue to do that um, apart from cricket clubs and um, you know basketball clubs uh, um, even soccer clubs uh, the best is to stay with uh, badminton because I just love the sport and play myself um, I have been playing uh, then I started playing badminton uh, you know, a few other friends and all those things, then I thought, uh, you know, it is better to bring as a professional ba badminton um, club. Club I started with uh, Crestwood Badminton Association and we have been playing for the last 23 years um, in, in, uh, in Girawin as well as uh, Bolko Mills. And currently we are playing at Model Farm High School at uh, Bolko Mills. So we have about 60 odd uh, uh, players uh, um, who no pay nominal fees and we play badminton there on um, every Wednesday 7 p.m. and um, um, Saturdays 7 a.m. till 11 o'clock. So this is how we have been playing and uh, this is how we organize tournaments and against the uh, different, different countries, uh, clubs like uh, Korean clubs, Chinese clubs, and uh, they are all located in various, various places in Strathfield, Homebush, Kellyville, Castle Hill, those sort of areas. So this is how you know we develop our games and we are also having a website for this tournament. People need any sort of information if they want to come and play and things like that and uh, we, we do all those sort of things. Wow, Raj, that looked uh, that looked really good, and it was great to hear some of the comments by the winners of those tournaments. Yeah, yeah. as I said, the standard is pretty good. Can I ask, uh, where did you select these sports? Why did you decide on these particular sports? Yeah, I, I think the Asians in general are good in these two sports mm. for some reason. Mm. Uh, but my own theory is that you know wherever these sharp muscle sports are involved, like the quick reflexes, quick action. Uh, the Asians seem to be doing well in those sports for yeah. some reason or the other. Yeah. And if you take the long muscle sports, like for example running and athletics and all that, the African Americans for example, yeah. they seem to do very well. Yeah. That's my own theory. Mm -hmm. And if you take uh, uh, Caucasians, they probably they have a broader shoulder and uh, more uh, uh, you know, uh, arm power. Yeah. That's why they probably do well in swimming. Yeah, yeah. So that's why we selected uh, uh, these two sports, badminton and table tennis, which uh, the Asians are very good at, as we all know, yep. uh, all the Asian countries, including India. Yep. That's why we took those sports. And uh, how about we look at uh, the highlights of the yep. table tennis tournament, which also happened at the Olympic Park. And here is the organizer of the tournament, uh, Mohan Kanetkar, talking to us. Let's take a look. Uh, India Sports Club is having PT tournaments for quite some time. But uh, we had a small gap in between and uh, we are restarting again. And this year, because of this Mother's Day and other things, we have a bit less response. But next year, we'll be doing in full swing. Yes, really. I used to play a grade uh, in, in New South Wales. Uh, it's a long time ago, it's about 25 years ago. But still I play, I play reasonably good, I think. I still play inter clubs sometimes. And uh, uh, hope to continue for quite a few years. Yeah, there they are some good players, especially they are from Vietnam background and uh, hope to get them here as well, so our boys can improve. I think venue is very good and uh, the total arrangement is, mm, I think, fantastic actually. The tournament is just started and I think 
some of the participants like uh, I forgot her name. She is the girl which is 18 years old. I think that is very good to see that, and uh, I hope I think in future we will get more participants. And I think so because there are a lot of other uh, new young players are coming. I think here, and I think in future we will see more competition. I think. I think it is growing, you know, because a lot of Asians, Indians, and if you start Australians in, interested in table tennis, I think there is a good future there. I really, well, I have been playing for a long time because I've been playing at my IG South, but um, keep practicing and trying to find people who are, I'm not used to playing with, and then I'll learn techniques from them. There you go, Shankar. That was uh, the organizer, Mohan Kanitkar and also a couple of people who participated in the table tennis tournament. Mm -hmm. And how about we listen to the winner of uh, the tournament, mm -hmm. Amit Sharma, who has in fact uh, represented India, but now living in Sydney. Oh, wow. I started in early 90s in India. That time I represented my uh, district, that is Indore from uh, 1999 to 2000. Then slowly, gradually I shifted to state and national championship. I presented India also in few of the championships. Uh, then after my studies, I left the games and so far I'm not playing. But when I watched this event which is happening in the Sydney Olympic Park, then I thought why not join and participate in this event. In, in Australia, there are few clubs who are actually running the uh, competition also on a regular basis and there are training centers also. Though uh, the awareness is not much regarding this sport because that is not that much that famous sport, but still people are playing and I just Google it and I found some of the good uh, camps and good uh, a coaching center also so I thought I'll join some of them and represent this uh, district or state also in sooner or later competitions. Oh, oh, that, that's right because I think that's a very good effort has been done by the Indian Sports Club because it's a collective effort and the and people who are actually working from 9 to 5 on Monday to Fridays and they got a time to meet the people and enjoy the game also because it's a good activity which has been done and I believe sooner or later more members will join this event and I will, it will be a good event then. Oh, I advise all the parents and all the uh, youngsters also to join this sport because it will help their in the professional career also because it's a very fast game it, for that the reflexes, the concentration is must. So if the people are playing then definitely uh, it will support them in their professional career as well. well. There we go, a very interesting interview there with the winner of the tournament. Now Raj, what else can we look forward to from India Sports Club? Yeah, well India Sports Club is planning to launch other sports like soccer, yep. for example, because uh, soccer is a game which is picking up in Australia mm -hmm. big time. Yep, yep. And also AFL, uh, Aussie rules. So yes. these are things which we have, uh, uh, you know, planned for. Let's see, uh, you mentioned about award night. Yep, That's a perfect uh, uh, venue and also the forum for launching these two sports, we think. Yep.